Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Virgo. Uh, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the end of February going into March. We're going to take a look at your over energies regarding love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice and see what else you guys need to know. Um, so... Uh, feel free to apply this to your own unique situation, switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these messages are general. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys um, get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Virgo, okay? I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situations and to your own energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me, okay? All right, so Virgo, let's get started. Over energies for Virgo. What is surrounding Virgo regarding love and the person that they are connected with? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, signs for the end of February going into March. Over energies for Virgo regarding love and the person that they are connecting with here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, signs for the end of February going into March. You know, <clears throat> I feel like you're trying to hopelessly break free from a toxic situation that you've been in here. You know, I feel like you're you're hoping, but at the same time, you're hopeless too. I, I really feel like you're trying to make some big changes here for yourself. And I feel like you don't want to be attached to um, someone here who is negative or someone here that's draining your energies. We have the chariot here, cancer energy and the eight of pentacles. And then we have the uh, King of Pentacles. There you are, Virgo energy, Capricorn, Taurus, okay. Um, Aquarius energy with the star in the reverse and the devil in the reverse, Capricorn energy. You know, I feel like you're trying to make a decision here. You're deciding whether to stick around or perhaps decide to leave this behind because I feel like you want to work on this too with this person. Tell me about the devil in the reverse. I feel like you're having a hard time breaking free from this, and I feel like you're trying so hard, uh, Virgo. Tell me about the star in the reverse. It's like you have hope, but I feel like you're feeling hopeless. Six of Cups. You know, I feel like you're thinking about the good times with this person, but I feel like all this bad stuff has over to, uh, overshadowed these good times. Feels like you might have been dealing with this person for a very long time. The Chariot. Six of Swords. You know, Virgo, I really feel like you're trying, I feel like really, I feel like really you're gonna try and break free from this. I feel like you can't handle it anymore, okay? Um, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you're tired of feeling confused. I feel like you're tired of feeling stuck. Knight, uh, Knight of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. So this is you taking action, trying to get away from this. You know, I feel like you're going to go back and forth. One moment you're confident about breaking away, and then the next moment you're probably going to wonder, did I make the right decision? King of Pentacles. I feel like you're making this decision based on your um, intuition here instead of the ego. Even though I'm not seeing the High Priestess here or the um, Moon card, I really do feel like you're making your decision based on intuition okay yeah i feel like you are probably excited about this breaking free but like i said you might be in this energy of man did i make a, make the right decision it happens when you separate from someone uh two of swords two of swords the world 
yeah, I feel like you're going to have a hard time. You're going to struggle with this decision. But I feel like you're making the right decision here. The Ten of Swords. Because I'm feeling like a trauma bond. I'm feeling like there's a trauma bond here. And I feel like you've tried over and over and over again. Uh, but I feel like you've come up short. And I do feel like you might successfully completely cut this person out. Tell me about the person that Virgo is dealing with here. What are their true feelings and intentions towards Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for the end of February going into March. Okay. Seven of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Knight of Cups, the Emperor. Seems like you might be dealing with the Knight here. Queen of Wands, okay. We do have a masculine and a feminine energy. We have the Seven of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Okay. We have the Two of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I mean, this person is coming in to make you some sort of offer or an apology, but I just feel like you have your back turned to this person, this Queen of Wands. Aries energy with the Emperor. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Tell me about the Seven of Cups here. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Five of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, not good. Two of Cups, the Fool, Knight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Emperor. Oh, that's too many. Shoot. Yeah, that's too many. Hold on. Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords and the se uh, Six of Pentacles. You know, you're coming up, so Virgo, you're coming up with this, as a King of Pentacles here in the Emperor. So I feel like you have money here, and I feel like this person is coming in to take your money, or that this person has taken your energy. You know, this person has maybe, you know, borrowed some of your stuff and never returned it. You know, I feel like, you know, a, a lot of the conflict is stemming from that. The lack of equal give and take, and just the confusion here. The Fool card, Aries, uh, Aquarius energy, Seven of Pentacles. Someone here is coming back, letting you know that they made a huge mistake here. They want to make things right. But I feel like they're plotting to do the same thing again, uh, Virgo. The Emperor. Eight of Wands. Queen of Wands. And the Tower. You're going to receive some sort of communication here. But this person is going to get the shock of their lives when you don't respond. Like I said. This emperor has their back turned to this queen of wands here. This, the, you don't want anything to do with this person. I do feel like you're this emperor and this king of pentacles, but you could feel free to, uh, you know, be this queen of wands if you if you fit into this storyline of this queen of wands, because I do feel like this person might be a bit um, unstable, okay? So airy Scorpio energy here. You know, I feel like this person wants to reunite with you, okay? Because I feel like it, there's there's something for this person uh, when they're with you, okay? They get something out of it. Uh, I just feel like this person is not acting on emotion, okay? I just feel like this person is act on acting on being an opportunist, okay? Uh, acting on maybe on impulsivity here, okay? Outcome and advice here for Virgo regarding their love situation for the end of February, going into March. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for uh, Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know regarding their love situation? This five of swords, not good. Oh. Yeah, not good. If you're going to stay in the situation here, this person is definitely going to hurt you, continue to hurt you. This person's really selfish, by the way. Five of Swords and a higher fit. I feel like this person preaches religion a lot, okay? Um, I feel like this person might be, you know, one of those people um, that, you know, quotes a lot of stuff from the Bible or some religious sacred text or something like that. You know, I feel like whenever this person does something wrong, I feel like this person quotes some sort of sacred text so that you know they could get away with what they're doing here or that they can make excuses for their behavior okay um we have the nine of cups and the three of swords 
This person is coming back for their own selfish reasons. Five of Cups and the King of Wands. We have the King to the Queen of Wands. We have a true pair. This person is just going to disappoint you some more if you're going to allow yourself um, to stick around with this person. Um, but because I'm feeling like, you know, the the uh, communic the uh, no contact regarding the communication, I feel like it's not going to last very long. Um, because I feel like someone here gives in very easily. Okay? Tell me about the Five of Swords. The Two of Wands. This person might be a bit of a spiritual narcissist. Okay? The Hierophant. Four of Cups. This person quotes religion a lot. I feel like they use it, they use it as a weapon to make you feel bad. Okay? I feel like this person is really well versed in spirituality, and I feel like this person uses it to their advantage to excuse their behavior. Nine of Cups. Hangman. Piscean energy. Tell me about the three of swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles. King to the Queen of Pentacles here. You know, I really feel like it's this queen that's doing this. I do. True pairs here, by the way. King to the Queen of Pentacles, King to the Queen of Wands. But you're going to end up disappointed again. Um, this person might be dealing with other people here too. Sleeping with other people, cheating on you, Three of Wands here. Yeah, you kind of knew... You know, with the Five of Cups and the Three of Wands, you kind of expected it. But I just feel like, you know, I do feel like someone here gives in very easily. And then we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You're completely wounded by this individual here. I feel like you feel beat up. Because I feel like each time you try with this person, you hope that this person will make some changes here. I just don't feel like this person will. Yeah, this person, this person quotes religion a lot, I'm feeling like in order for them to excuse their behavior, okay? So, um, so uh, Virgo, you could be dealing with another Virgo. Uh, so Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.